My name is Stephen Gillum. I'm Battalion Chief with the City of Cloyne Heights Fire and EMS. We're here doing a final inspection on our 2023 E1 Typhoon Custom Pumper. You come from an area in Virginia that serves about eight square miles. Uh, we have two stations. We cross-staff all of our units with paramedics. Uh, we run one quint, one rescue, two ambulances, and this engine will take the place of an engine at our station one. We serve a lot of the area in the interstate, so we kind of need some versatility. And one of the things we wanted to accomplish with this truck was also eliminate the cross lays. We do have a front intake that we're going to have at least 25 foot of five inch hose here. This is going to be 200 foot of inch and three quarter, and this will be 200 foot of inch and three quarter. This will have to be rolled in a donut type or horseshoe type style, and this will be able to be flat loaded. So we'll be able to break it and deploy it on call fires and stuff on the interstate with uh, limited areas. So we took a lot of our hand tools and other things that we had in the cab actually out of the truck and put them in different compartments. Also, one of the things that we decided to do with this truck was put in map pockets so that our traffic vest wouldn't get lost in the, tr in the shuffle and everything on this truck. We also put these light bars in here that are act as arrow sticks when the doors are open and that serves on the interstate as well for us. Um, on the back of the cab here, to get some of the areas of uh, stuff out of the cab, we put in these shelves and then at the bottom here we cut a, a recessed floor with us so we can put our water can and our, on the other side we will have our dry chemical fire extinguisher. We run a uh, mutual aid with a couple different localities that cover different thread patterns of what we have, so we have to carry a lot of adapters. So in our first compartment that we like to call the engineer's compartment, we left the top and put this pack track bracket in so that we'll be able to put all of our adapters up and kind of cleans this area up. To get some of the tools and stuff out of the cab, we elected to place this pegboard in here so that it would allow us some versatility to mount tools where we need to to get those out of the cab and kind of open that cab up for us. This back compartment here where we carry our EMS supplies at, um, we are a ALS agency so we have a, a lockable drug box compartment and this will allow us to carry all of our ALS equipment as well as our traffic advisors and traffic cones everything on the lower compartment. Uh, we had this installed, this is where we're going to carry our high rise packs, our inch and three quarter and the two and a half. Uh, previously we had it in a compartment so this will allow us some versatility to allow more compartment space with that. Um, behind the two ladders that we see here we have our attic ladder and the pike bowls will go in those tubes. And also one of the unique features about this truck is that we ordered a roof ladder with hooks on both ends so that it doesn't matter which way you go, you can pull it and have it ready to go. This compartment here is where we're going to store our extrication tools. So we will allow these pull-out trays to store our tools and everything else on and make sure that we have plenty of room and safely can get that done. Plenty of storage over the wheel wells for our spare SCBA bottles. Um, this was able to be accomplished and we'll, we were able to get those out of one of the compartments that they had previously been in on our, our former rig. Working with the d and E1 was a process that was streamlined and very easy to work with. Uh, we worked with some great people all the way up from the salesman to the vice president of sales and everybody was accommodating and just made us feel like we were a, a valued customer to get this truck built and ready to go for us in place and service. A lot of the individuals that were on this committee had never been part of a truck committee before. So seeing the truck from where it was on paper to a, from an idea to actually come to fruition, it was, a, it was a, a welcome experience for all of them there and I think they enjoyed the process of, of going through this. We are long overdue and can't wait to place this in service.